Hello guys and welcome back to my slide 2 and the present tutorial series. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you speedrun episode 6 of slide 2 Band of Thieves. I'm going to be playing on the Korean version. Since I play on the Korean version I press circle instead of X. If you're on the PAL slash European version or the NTSCU slash American version, just press, S press X instead. Do not worry about my coin count or percentage. Reason being is that I use cheat codes to go back and forth between the episodes because I always lose track of my files when I do this tutorial series. So, I'll be playing on the Korean version of the game on a PS3. That is the fast version. For a more optimal version, you can feel free to DM me on Discord. Uh, it's in the description below. So now, we're gonna just head straight into the tutorial. So when you're done with episode 5, you're gonna end up at this screen. You want to press circle twice. So now you wanna press circle. And then we wanna press circle again to start the intro cutscene. You can't skip this cutscene like in episode 3, 7 or 8. So I'm going to speed it up for you guys. See you guys in the safe house. Spam circle or X to exit the hideout as quickly as possible. Now run across here and square bus down. Use paraglider here to get down on the ground as quickly as you can. Now keep straight lines here while you move over to the mission trigger. When you come to this bridge you want to square boost over it and then square boost off. Square boost into the mission trigger to start the cutscene. Now that the cutscene is over you want to use the hooks to get on top to where the train comes from and the cabin is. Run at them, press circle and hold your left analog stick down and then you will jump up. You can glitch hard jump on top of these cars to get off quickly or just wait until it passes. In this cabin you want to run up to the barrel that is straight in front of us right now and then take the picture of the map on the top left over the pillar like thingy. Just run up towards it and try to take the picture as quickly as possible. So run up. Take the picture, spam circle to exit the, the binocular, and then run on the left side here, and glitch the hard jump up here. Position yourself approximately here, to the right of this corner like thingy. Then you want to take the picture of the second map, and then the first map. And while you take the picture of the first map, spam circle after the, you have actually taken it. Now. You can for safety's sake just jump on top of this pillar and then run across it. If zombie zone is in a good place you can square boost off it and then just run straight for the door. Uh, but in a lot of cases you will be spotted if you do so. Just run across this pillar and then run down here and press circle when you exit. Now when you exit the second cabin you want to run across here, square boost and use the paraglider to get down on the ground. Double jump and press circle to latch onto this pipe. Now when you run off this little train thing here, you want to square boost with running speed. So you get the train speed as you're square boosting off it. Now right here you want to just run over and then glitch hard jump on top and press circle when you land on top of the fireplace. You don't need to worry about coins since our coin route is so powerful. Now, run straight forward here and square boost off the rails. Open the paraglider and turn your camera to GSM away the guard that will spawn on the top right here. With him successfully sp uh, GSM'd away, keep running straight towards, uh, in a straight line towards the rail over here. Now square boost off the rail and paraglide towards this, the last cabin. This is too hard, use double jump or glitch hard jump and then pair it with a paraglider. Now run between these two bottles right here, so you can easily get on top of here without glitch hard jump, without being detected. Now glitch, on, glitch hard jump back uh, and just exit the uh, cabin. Right after this cutscene ends, you want to move over to the left side and glitch hard jump from the barrel, like so, on top of the rope. When you get to around this part, you want to glitch hard jump on top of this rope, and then paraglide over to the rails. Now, glitch hard jump to this part, 
don't open when you come here because you will be shot out towards this area and you will fail. And you will have to, or not fail, but you will have to go around and climb up again. Then go on to this one, glitch high jump and climb. Jump off early enough so you can like land here easily. Just press circle on this and then the job is finished. Now we're gonna reset the game. But before we do that, every time you leave the cabin, you have a chance of the game doing a white lock. It's basically when your screen goes white and then you have a certain amount of time to press circle and re-enter the cabin before it hard locks. You can avoid this by not holding any buttons or directions, just don't touch any buttons and then press circle as soon as you see the white pop up. Now pick Sly and do the same route as you did with uh, the first job to get over here When you get to this part you just wanna run straight up here try to avoid this guard Then keep running along this part right here Careful that you don't get hit by this guy and now right here You can just hold up against the wall while running and square boost when you get to around here to go straight into the trigger It's if you run in towards the wall rather than straight forward uh, but just a slight bit it's not very hard to fall down um, and it can be easily avoided so right here uh, when we get in the sky here uh, you're gonna do the same type of movement two times uh, but then altering left and right in the end uh, and on the last one we're gonna do a little bit different to get to the last train I'm gonna explain this as we do it so right now, just drop straight down, don't press any buttons. When you hit this, you want to go straight forward. And then drop right on it, go right. Now when you hit this, turn 180 left. Like so. Go straight forward. And when you land on this, you want to go to the left. Like so. And then you should be able to go almost on top of the train. This can be perfected. Now we're just gonna run back to the train. Uh, or to the plane, I mean, sorry. And then we're gonna do the exact same thing, only that we're gonna alter and go right instead of left. So, drop down. Forward. Right. 180 left. Forward. Then instead go right. Try to avoid hitting that air balloon. Now for the last one. We're gonna do the same start here, where we go forward, and then we go to the right. We do the same, 180 left, but now we're gonna do a 180 right, or slightly 180, towards 180. Now we're gonna go towards where the train cart is supposed to be, it's basically where the, the river ends here. And then you just adjust so you land on top of the cart here. If you're lucky here, Sly is gonna land on top of the train or ledge grab it. Like so. This is gonna make us go towards the next job trigger very quickly. So right now, just move along here. Square boost on top here. Go on top of this, like so. Just avoid that guard. Go on top of this. And then glitch high jump and paraglide over here. Turn the camera and look towards the pipe. When it disappears, you can fall into the water. Now, make your way onto this train lines right here. And run up here. When you get to this point, you want to start double jumping and using paraglider. So as soon as you hit the ground, you essentially want to hit, uh, use the, uh, the parag to paraglide. And then when you hit the ground, you want to do a double jump. Uh, this will make you not fall through the tracks. Now, what you want to do, you want to run off the here, get spotted by the guard, 
And now, while being spotted by Carmelita, you want to sort of lure her. But stay in the range where she keeps shooting you for a bit. Then just keep, keep luring her over here. When you, she approximately gets to the tree, then you can start running full speed. Now she will turn one time here. And then she will turn one time when she gets there. The, you can optimize this by getting her to a better place. But this is approximately... Oh yeah, this is a good one, I would say. Uh, at least for beginners. So after the lure strat, part one. Uh, or, if you don't do the lure strat, you're gonna end up here, no matter what. So as Carmelita turns, uh, being in front of her is usually the, the better part, because it's easier to keep track of her. Uh, so now you can just move over here, you can take this barrel if you want. Just try to stay in range. And then move... Essentially in front of her. But try to not um, look towards the... Like, what Sly is looking now. So, you want to keep on, stay on the roof and GSM. Uh, you can do a second uh, lure strat here, right under, with the guard completely just killed. But the thing is, that is way harder than the first one that I just showed you. Uh, so, the, f the first one, you can either skip that or do it. And the second one, I would re recommend to skip it until you are confident enough in your play uh, that you can... Uh, do it with ease, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, personally, I don't do it in runs currently. Uh, I only do the first lure threat. So now you just want to keep GSMing like so. Uh, we we can collect a, a good amount of coins here from various items, but we don't. We're not gonna do it due to the fact that uh, we have such a good coin route currently, uh, since we're going with the safe one. And you want to just like keep on the same page as Carmelita here. GSMing so that there's no guards behind you that spawns like this guard that just spawned and so Now that the cutscene is over, you want to run on these tracks like so and just get to Carmelita as quickly as possible. When you pickpocket her, run past her but be careful so you don't get shot. She she can have the opportunity here to snipe you. So there's two strats you can do here. You can either go on top of the here, like so, or you can use the strat, which this is a little bit scary because now she will be in an angle which she could shoot you. So that, that's one of the reasons why doing this strat can be a little bit scary. Uh, I was able to avoid it, but you might not be, and getting shot two times is very sad. Uh, it will lose a lot of time. So now with the second one, I'm going to show you the the, safe st the safer strat to do. So just latch onto this and just stand here. Just hang here. Until she stops watching you. Uh, this is what I started off doing, and after I kept speedrunning the game, I uh, I turned over to do the other strat. Uh, but you can do whatever you want, to be honest. And yeah, so now now that she has uh, been done spotted us, you can go over here, and you can do the exact same strat, or you can do this strat where you go over to these train tracks and you run up towards this spot approximately then when you see her drop down like so then you go down here and you just start climbing back up this will make it so that approximately when you get to here it will be over if you do you can time this a little bit better so you end up here right as it ends um, but that's one way you can do it. Uh, so that's, or that's the three ways you can do it. The first one can be a little bit risky. The second one is more or less 100% safe. And the third one is, uh, safe-ish. It, it's basically up to you to choose what you want. Now you want to load the game. Now when you get into the hideout, you want to select Bentley. 
run up towards this spot and try to not get uh, spotted by the guard here. It should be very hard to get spotted. Now turn your camera slightly here to GSM the guard a little bit, so that the, the top guard doesn't spawn in a very awkward position. Now jump on this, jump forward with a double jump when you land on the jumping pad and press triangle. This will make you hit the trigger uh, very quickly. If you struggle with this, you don't need to do it. But it is a, a faster strat, which is very easy. So jump on the jumping pad as soon as you, you get the jump from it. You want to use um, other, press X one more time, so you go forward into it, and then press triangle right when you're under it slash at it. So now you want to keep to the left, wait, and go in the middle, and then go over the, the left side there. Now in a lot of spaces here, you're gonna see me dropping the bomb, which I've covered before that it's a faster way to to get down on the ground as Bentley, like so. So now you just want to make your way over here. This is a pretty straightforward job. There's no big stuff here. Uh, when you come to this guard though, stand here and snipe the middle guard, like so. You can do this with a quick shot or you can do this while standing and being stationary and stuff like that. You can, you can practice this yourself. Obviously quick shotting is faster, but uh, you have to see that yourself. Now just use a bomb to get down here and then just run into the trigger. Right after this we're gonna reset the game. Spam circle to select Bentley as quickly as possible. Now that we're gonna make our way over to the mission trigger, the only thing you have to worry about is a slight GSM in the end. So you basically just run straight forward here. Then when you get approximately here, you start to slightly GSM like this. Jump on top of the train, or on top of the hill here. Just keep running up, then you can turn around and go into the mission trigger. Now, just run straight forward here. You can hit this guard if you want. Doesn't really matter that much. Uh, and it's not gonna be any worry. Double jump on top of this cart. And then just go straight into it. Now in this jobs, uh, or in this job, there's gonna be a specific pattern that the, the planes are gonna spawn in. So on the first one now, they're gonna, you're gonna drop bombs on the middle of it. So X to, uh, to drop bombs, just kill these guards while you have wait time. And just start spamming on the middle back, sort of, no, or actually on the middle, sorry. Uh, straight in the middle, try to not take any damage, just do this as fast as possible. And now there's gonna be planes and two helicopters, so when the trains are out, you want to spam this. So helicopters are gonna start on the left, like so, and then on the right. Now, you're gonna drop two on the front and two on the back. You're gonna start on the back one. You can drop it on the cart itself, on that side, the side the thing is on. Just so you know that. You don't need to go out of around here to do it. So now there's gonna be planes, and then there's gonna be four choppers going left, right, left, right. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna try and spam as much as we possibly can. Just start spamming the location it's gonna spawn in. Like so, move over, spam this one, move over, spam that, and then move over, spam that. Now, there's gonna be, we're gonna just ignore the planes, and there's gonna be two on the, on the middle here, but towards more towards the back than on straight on the middle. You can completely ignore the, the planes here, it does not matter. So now there's only gonna be planes. So, what I mean by spamming or mashing, as I might use the term, is that you, you, as quickly as you can, press square. So you, instead of going like this, you go like this. It's just repeatedly spamming uh, uh, square. This is used in this episode mostly. Uh, but you can use it in other times. So now, go to the left. Destroy this heli. Destroy this heli. And then start to destroy this. And while these are going, just destroy the chopper and then destroy the sides. In my notes I've written left heli, then right, damage slash kill, heli, 
then drop two on middle and then kill the helis. You can do this like how you want, but that's essentially the route here. So now, don't reset here. This looks like a prime spot to reset the game. I've done this multiple times myself. But what you want to do, you want to just wait and then load. Common spot to lose uh, time to resetting. Now, pick Murray. Now, you want to run over here. Sort of get spotted by the guard. And just go behind that so he shoots that thing. Then hug this. Now, you want to sort of hug Carmelita here a bit. So she shoots behind you. And now run up here. Now just run straight into the trigger here. So when this cuts in ends, you want to run down to the right of it, like so, and then double jump on top of here. Now pick up the bear and just keep GSMing like so to avoid guard spawns. Just move along the tracks like so here now. And when you get to where it starts to go down, like here, you want to toss him as far as you can. And then if there spawns a guard like so, you just want to kill them. You get away from uh, any trouble that there might be. This is a very un unfortunate uh, thing that can happen. It will not happen that often, uh, but it can happen. So now, what you want to do, just run down in here, check where the bear is, if the bear is not in any near enclosure here, just pick up the cub and just head out. GSM this to get the guards away. Um, and then just move over here. You want to do, you want to just drop down. Be careful boy that train. Because I was shot by the guards, that train will be in a killable spot for me. But normally if you do this in, an, in the, a fast way, you don't need to. When you get to around this spot right here, you can toss the bear cub and then you can finish the mission. That was a, a bit of a, a rough part of the mission. It is very... Uh, it is not very often that that kind of things happen, um, but it can happen. So now you see a way to handle it. So now, don't load, but just run back to the safe house. This will make it so that the cycles are a little bit nicer to you when you run to the last mission before the operation. So pick Sly. Now you wanna just square boost down, with actually square boosting. Just run up here. Just get, get yourself towards the, the, the second cabin, it will be. I'll just run over here. And then square boost into the wall, like so. So, right here you just want to glitch high jump on top of the train and paraglide sort of towards the middle and then towards the end of the train. So it's gonna look something like this. then just press circle to enter it. So this job is very easy as a speedrunner. You just land straight here, run forward. When you get to this door, instead of going in, just glitch high jump and land approximately there. So what that's gonna look like, if I can get my camera back, is something like this. And if you do it too much to the, to the right, you're gonna fall like that. So essentially just land on top of this spot right here so in this area it then it should be uh, should be nice to you as well and then just do double jump up when you're on the roof here you just want to run over and then square boost these gaps if you're struggling with square boosting like a lot of beginners are just glitch high jump them it's not a big deal 
So now you can just keep square boosting. Hit one of the guards if you want. Square boost and paraglide. If you get hit here by anything, just kinda ignore it a bit and then do the same here. You can of course make this a lot more careful if you want, but doesn't lose that much time. And because I was explaining this to you guys, the cycles kept moving. So in normal areas this would you you would can you would have the same cycle at all times. Now just run into the trigger and the mission is done. So now you want to reset the game. Because uh, this is the last job before the operation, so there's gonna be a slideshow with Bentley. Now, in the operation, select Murray, and then just run straight towards the mission trigger. This is literally the only thing he does in the whole operation, as when we control him. So right now there's gonna be a large cutscene, I'm gonna skip over it for you guys. So the cutscene is over, just drop down and then run over and do the exact same door thingy here. And then if the camera angle is a little bit funky, you can open the Banoki Com to fix it, but you I don't recommend it, it's a little bit slow. So just run until you I think you're on the end. And when you get to this ladder right here, you want to drop down. Around around there. So right now there's gonna be a little cutscene and then we're gonna start mashing very, very hard to get this done. Uh, for the sake of this video and for your sake of your ears, I'm not gonna mash it with my full potential because then I wouldn't be able to speak because I focus so hard and use so much pressure. Um, but I'm gonna skip over this cutscene and we'll meet you in the end of it. So now that we're in the end of the cutscene, be ready to start spamming square, uh, like so. Right now, there's gonna be two parts where you're gonna mash, um, so you just wanna try to not take as much damage here. Just tr try and keep uh, a constant spam. This is something that you will have to practice because it is very hard on your uh, forearms. As you can hear, my voice is shaking due to the fact that I'm shaking my arm up and down very quickly. Uh, that was not my full potential. That was like half, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. But after you're done with this, this is the dreaded glitch high jump. After you mash, this glitch high jump hurts like hell. Um, but just click hard jump on top of there. Just square boost down here and use paraglider. Wait until his light sort of goes a little bit back. Then you can jump over here. Now, you want to run off this ledge. And then around the corner and press circle. So something like this. So you want to start like here. Run across and press circle. This is going to be... Ta you're going to need to take some practice here to get this down. Um... But you just want to focus on starting to glitch high jump here and getting around the corner. So you want to get around the corner like so and pressing circle. Then you don't want to start jumping here because then you will hit the death trigger. You'd want to go sort of in the middle here. Press circle, X circle, X circle and X and circle. Now you don't want to get spotted by this guard. You can though. It doesn't uh, matter that much, um, only hurts a little bit, and then the try jump up here, and now you're, you're done with it. Now it's just, it, that's the, the last card, and then you just drop down, 
now there's one more mashing section. Uh, I haven't practiced mashing in a very long time, since it, I haven't ran this game for a few months at least. Um, but I'm gonna try to mash with my full potential here. So if you hear some weird sounds, don't worry about it. Uh, but yeah, so you just wanna mash very quickly here. So. Okay, I can't do full potential, but almost. And there, we were lucky with the cycles, she didn't go down on us, winky face. You're now done with episode 6, and you can now move on to episode 7. So, after you get the percentage here, you want to reset your console. And then I'll meet you guys in the menu. Now that you're in the menu, you only want to press circle, and then the tutorial is over. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate everyone for that stopped by and checked out my tutorial video. This is a very outdated series by this point uh, of making it, but I thought I would finish it no matter what. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, uh, drop a subscription or subscribe if you want, and uh, yeah, I stream on Twitch. And all that and blah blah blah, sell out, sell out, uh, funny bunny, you know. Uh, next video coming right up. So, episode 7, good luck.